hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is monique if you are new here don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below to join our creative community and to all my loyal subscribers thank you for always staying connected in today's tutorials we'll be learning how to make this stunning cow neck dress featuring either a bishop or cycle collar and some elegant side drapes so let's get into it I'll be using a three and a half yards of silk fabric for this tutorial. So I'll be drafting it on a pattern paper. I'm using the biggest part of the bodies, which is the hip, divided by four plus four inches for seam allowance. So first measurement I'll be taking is the neck width. I'm using three inches for the neck width, and the neck depth I'll use one inch. So I'll go ahead and connect it like this. Then I'll take the shoulder width. Half of my shoulder is 7.5. I'm adding extra half an inch. That's 8 inches. So I'll add, it's a cut together dress. I'll add extra 3 inches for the sleeve. Then I'll come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Then I'll connect it to the neck width like this. Then from the shoulder slope, I'll come down and take my chest line. The chest line I'm working with is 8 inches. Then from this point, I'll take... 9 inch then i'll take the shoulder to bust point which is 11 inches i'll take the shoulder to waist i'm using 17 inches then i'll take the shoulder to hip i'm using 26 inches then the shoulder to full length i'm working with 43 inches i'm adding two inches for seam allowance that's 45 inches so i'm connecting all the lines now what i have on the shoulder here i'll place it on the chest line then i'll take a straight line so now i'll take the both circumference the bust is 38 divided by 4. It will give me 9.5. I'm adding 2 inches for seam allowance. Then on the waist, the waist is 32 divided by 4. It will give me 8 inches. So I'll add 1 inch for that and 2 inches for seam allowance. On the hip, the hip is 42 divided by 4. It will give me 10.5. I'm adding 2 inches for seam allowance. What I have on the hip, I'll place it on the full length. We are making a straight dress. So I'll connect all the lines then i left i took connected the line from the waist to the full length now i'll curve it this way to meet the waistline so what i did was i i made sure it's close to the both circumference so i came in with one inch about one inch before i started making the curve as you can see so i'll just connect it to the waistline so this is our dress so the next thing i'll do is to take the boss pan that is our dart the bust pan is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 will give me 4. I added extra half an inch. That's 4.5. So I place it on the waist, the bust, and the hip line. Now come down by 1 inch. Then I'll take half inch on both sides. That is on the waist line. Half inch on both sides. So I'll connect it to this 1 inch point here on the bust line. Then on the hip line, I'll come up by 2 inches. Now I'll slant it to the waistline. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut it out. So I'll be cutting through this line. So I'm going to share it this way. So this is our top and this is the skirt part. So I'll be using the skirt panel to cut out the back later. But before then on the top, I'll automatically turn the top to the back because the style on the front has drip so this will be our back panel so i'll take another pattern paper on a fold and i'll place the back panel like so i'll slant it this way like on a bias and i'll make sure the lower part of the waist aligns i took seven inches from this top point here please make sure you place it the way i'm placing it like this to get the style so i slanted it so I'm going to make a straight line from the shoulder like so to the end of the center front. Then afterwards, I'm going to cut it out exactly like this. So I left excess on the center front like this. That will give us the drip on the style. So I'll open it up. Then on this part, remember on the back neck, I used 3 inches. That, but for the front neck, I'll be using 5 inches for the neck width. I'll mark 5 inches here. Then I'll come down by one inch for the neck depth. The reason why I'm the reason why I'm doing this is because I'll be pleating it to have a little drip on the neckline. So what I mean is, 
if i place it together as you can see it's not equal so i'm going to pleat the neckline so that it will tally with the back neckline like so then the excess on the shoulder i'll also pleat it so that it will fit in fit the back shoulder i hope you understand so i've placed the back panel on the on the fabric i left one inch from the center front for our zipper allowance so what i'm going to do on the waistline here i'm going to come in by half an inch for our shoulder sorry for our back tightening remember our back is not straight to avoid zip bulge i came in by half an inch so i'll slant it to the neckline like so so i'll be cutting this part so what i removed from the center back i'll replace it on the side seam here i removed half an inch so i'm replacing it back on the side seam so that will not have shortage so i'll just go ahead and cut it out exactly like this so I added half an inch on the waist for seam allowance and remember I forgot to mention the fabric is on a fold so that means we are cutting two for the back panel then I'm going to notch the dart point here so this is the back panel I'll open it up so this is our center back so on the dart point here I'm going to sew it so I'm going to make so the dart then I'll make a loose stitch on the center back for the zipper allowance then on the center front i'll also do the same thing i'll add half inch on the waistline then i'll cut it exactly like this exactly like the pattern i'll cut it out so this is our um, front panel then on the skirt this is i'm cutting out the back skirt so i also left one inch on the center back for zipper allowance so what i did i came in by half an inch just like we did on the top to avoid zip bulge then i'm marking out the hip line so i'll just cut it out on exactly what i have on this folded part on the skirt so what i mean is i came in by half an inch from the waist then i'll take a slant line all the way to the hip line so afterwards i'll just take another slant line to the folded part here then i'll cut it exactly like this i hope you understand so just watch how i'm cutting it as you can see i'm following the half inch then the slanted parts until i get to the folded parts like this so this is our back panel so now i'll be cutting the front skirt panel so it has a drip the front panel has a drip so i'll follow this that line the that line is 4.5 inches so i'll mark it out like this i'll mark it all the way to the full length and i'll take a straight line so afterwards i'll open it up then on this hip line i'll take it all the way to the other side then from the hip line here i'll come down by two inches then i'll take another line like so so i'll cut i'll be cutting through this line i'll cut through this line then afterwards i'll keep this aside so i on this hip line i'll mark two inches like so then i'll continue taking two inches till i get to the top like this then i'll take a horizontal line all the way to the other end of the skirt like so so after doing this i'm going to notch this point here this point is 11 inches so this is where the drip will stop so i'll just open it i've placed it on the fabric so we are we are making a slash and spread we are doing a slash and spread method so i'll open it up like this then I, i've gone ahead to secure it with the pin i left space of two inches on each side but if you want it wider than this you can make it longer you can either use three or four inches depending on how much you want the or how much you want the volume of the drip to be but for this i think it's okay for me so on this point i'll be notching this part because that is where the drip will stop so that i don't get confused when i'm sewing it so i'll cut through this part as you can see i did not touch this other side i did not open it up so that it will not look funny i only used one side for my drip so i've cut through it so i'm going to open it up so as you can see this is the part i notched where the drip will stop so i'll open it up we'll have something like this so this is the part i'm going to be draping so when i get to this point i'm going to stop that is this notched part so this is the other side of the skirt so i'm going to cut it out also 
so i'll be placing it remember i came down earlier by two inches so i'm going to notch this part so that i know that as i'm placing the drip that is where i'm going to stop this notched part so i'm going to place them together so that they will align here then this is the part i'll be pleating so this is the part i'll be pleating and i'll make sure it aligns with the smaller panel so i'll be sewing this part so before then i've gone ahead to make a loose stitch on the center back then i've also sewn the two dots on the center back so this is our back panel so i'll be joining the front panel that's the front top to the back remember i said i made the neck width wider than the that's the front neck width wider than the back neck width so i i not the center front so that i will know where to place it so so that it will align with the center back so i'll be pleating this part that is on the neckline the front neckline i'll be pleating it i'll be making like one inch on each side so so that it will align with the neck width so i'll pleat it here from here i'll place it this way i'll be marking i'll be pleating it by one inch on each side so i'll pin this part up then i'll pleat the other side so then i'll repeat the same thing on this other part here so as you can see it's it's aligning with the back neckline then on the excess the excess on the shoulder i'll also be pleating it so that it will fit the back shoulder so i'll be pleating i'll be making one inch pleats on each side like so So as you can see it's aligning with the back so i'll be sewing that part but on the neck i won't be sewing it to the back neck i'll top stitch it but on this part i'll sew it with the back shoulder i hope you understand so what i did here i'll repeat it on this other side and show you so guys i've done that i've pleated the neckline so this is the neckline then this is the shoulder so i made tiny pleats then this is the other part of the shoulder so that it aligns with the back top so we have this now i'll be sewing the side seam so i'll be using the back to do the measurement because the front is wider than the back so the the bust is half of the bust is 19 i have excess of two inches so i'll be sewing one inch on the bust and the waist half of the waist is 16 so half of the waist is 16 i'll I have excess of two inches i'll also be marking one inch on both sides that means i'll be sewing one inch from the bust to the waistline so i'll place them together good side to good side because the top the front top is wider i'll be using the back to join it like so so i'll fold it in then i'll sew it by one inch repeat it on the other side so i've done that i've joined the top together that is the back and the front panel i've joined it together so now on the neckline i will be measuring the neck so that i'll cut out the collar so the collar is going to be i took another pattern paper on the fold i'm going to measure the neck so the neck i have around 16.5 inches so i'll divide it by two so let's just say i have 8.5 inches so on the fold the pattern paper i'm going to mark the neck width the neck width is three inches for the back and three inches for the front so on this part here that is six inches so i'm going to take a horizontal line on this six inches mark so afterwards on this angle 90 that is on this point here i'll come down by one inch like so so from this one inch i came down with here i'm going to make a curve like this to meet this three inches mark here so i'll curve it this way so after doing that i'll also take it all the way to this line like so then on this folded part i'm going to take half of the neck round so the neck round is 8.5 inches i'll add extra one inch for seam allowance so that will be 9.5 inches so i'll go ahead and mark it here i'll mark it this way so i want the length of the collar to be 1.5 inches so from this point i'll mark 1.5 inches so i'll be covering it like this till i get to the end 
so i'll curve it all the way to the folded part like so so this is our color then i'm just trying to check to make sure that i have an accurate measurement so i'll go ahead and take a straight line here so this part is where our zipper will be the zipper is going to be on the back so i'll cut it out so this is our collar so like i said this part will be on the back where the zipper will be and this other side will be the front so i'll place it on the fabric so i've gone ahead to cut it exactly like that then i cut another bigger one so that when i'm sewing it i don't make a mistake so make sure you always make the second part bigger so i place it together i added interfacing to it good side to good side so i'll be sewing it by quarter inch on the top point here i'll be sewing by quarter inch all the way to the other end so i'll do that and show you so guys i've done that i made it little tiny stitch by quarter inch on the top point so i'll be trimming it out so i'll fold this part to the good side and i'll give it a good press so i'll fold it to the good side so i've done that i left extra quarter inch on the other side that i'll be using to fold it so what i'll do i'll be i noticed that the neck it's a little bit high because of the pleats i made so i'll be trimming it by half an inch let it not be too high so that it will not look funny so i trimmed it a little so now i'm going to place the collar so i'll get the center of the collar so it's on a fold i'll notch the center point i've also notched the center of the of the main dress so i'll place it so i'll be placing this shorter collar on the center point here that is the two center points are meeting so it's very important you notch it make sure you start from the center so that your collar will balance so i'll start sewing it by quarter inch all the way to the other end of the dress so i'll be sewing the shorter collar remember one of the collar is longer than the other so it's the shorter collar i'm sewing first i'm not sewing this one i'm sewing the shorter collar so guys i've done that i forgot to mention that i placed the shorter collar on the wrong side of the dress make sure you sew it on the wrong side so i stitched it by quarter inch so this is the longer one i'll be tucking this part in then i'm going to fold this other side i'll fold it by quarter inch i'll use it to top stitch this other side of the collar so i'll advise that you iron it properly so that it will stay firm if possible secure it with a pin i'm just um, explaining because i am making a tutorial but if you want to do it i'll advise that you fold it in with your iron with your pressing iron and pin it up if possible so that it will stay firm so i'll top stitch it and show you so guys i've done that i've top stitched the collar to the dress so i use the longer one that i left extra quarter inch to top stitch it on the good side so we have our collar now this is the sleeve i noticed that the sleeve is a little bit long it's a cut together sleeve but it's also like a sleeveless dress so i'm cutting out one inch because i notice it's a little bit long so i cut one inch out one inch i beg your pardon i'm doing the same thing on the other side i'm marking out the one inch and i've cut it out so i'll be hemming it by half an inch that's the sleeve i'll fold it or double fold it and sew it round but i'll be explaining that later now let's go back to the lower part the skirt so this is the back skirt i've stitched it by one inch i left about eight inches for zipper allowance then i started stitching it from here by one inch all the way to the full length so this is the back skirt so i'll be fixing the zipper here then the next thing i'm going to do this is the center front so i have not um stitched it yet so i'm going to pleat this part i'll make sure this side aligns and i'm going to pleat the excess that is the drip we made i'm going to pleat it to fit this other smaller panel so i'll be making tiny pleats to fit this part i notched here so i'll make tiny pleats but before i fix it i'll go ahead and top stitch it and show you so guys i've done that i've made tiny pleats and i've top stitched 
on it so as you can see it fits the other panel so i'll turn it to the other side good side to good side and i'll be sewing it by half an inch so it has a little slit so i'll mark 18 inches here i want the, the stitch to stop at 18 inches then i'll leave the other side open so i'll do that and show you so i've done that i i stopped at the 18 inches mark so this part is going to be open so i'll be joining the front and back together so to make it easier for me i open the side seam on the top the side seams i open it a little so that i can join it with the skirt so this is the front panel and this is the um front skirt panel so i'll be joining them together on the waist i'll be sewing it by half an inch i'll repeat the same thing on the back so this is the back top and the back skirt i'll also be joining it on the waistline by half an inch so i'll repeat the same thing on the other side as on the back panel i'll repeat it and show you so guys i've done that i've joined the back top to the skirt panel then i've also done it on the other side so this is the front panel so this is the top and this is the skirt i've joined it on the waistline so i'll be sewing the side seam i'll turn it over good side to good side so remember i've already sewn the top part so i st i stitched it by one inch so i'll follow it all the way when i get to the hip point i'll be sewing it by two inches I left two inches for seam allowance on the skirt so i'll sew it all the way to the full length from here i'll sew it by two inches all the way and i'll show you so guys i've done that i've joined the side seams um that's the both sides i've joined it by two inches then this is the back i've not fixed we've not fixed our zip yet so i'll be using this invisible zipper so i'll place the good side of the zipper to the good side of the dress so i'll start sewing it from this collar that's from the top point i'll sew it all the way to the full length afterwards i'll turn it over i'll place the other panel on the good side like so i'll turn it to the wrong side and i'm going to also sew it all the way to the other end i'm sure you know how to fix your zipper by now so i'm going to after sewing it i'm going to fold this top part in on the collar like so then i'll turn it to the wrong side this way then i'm going to top stitch this side of the zip so i hope you understand so i'll do that and show you so guys we fixed our zipper as you can see this is an invisible zipper so this is the collar so i top stitch this part so i've opened the zip so this is our zipper so i'll close it back so i'll be giving it a good press i'll take it to the ironing table and give it a good press so what the next thing i'll do I'll take it to the weaving machine and i'm going to weave it all the way then i'm going to fold it in that is the sleeve i'll be using hemming gum and iron it inside i'll not be top stitching on it I'll, i don't want the stitch to show so i'll be using hemming gum i'll do the same thing on the slit i'll i'll weave it i'll take it to the weaving machine after weaving it i'll fold it by half an inch like so then i'm going to attach hemming gum and give it a good press so that it will not have any stitch on it i'll repeat the same thing on the hemline after weaving it if you don't have a hemming gum, you can double fold it like this and stitch it all the way around so guys i've done it i've given it a good press and i've added hemming gum to the sleeve as you can see this is the part i weaved this part i weaved it then i as you can see there's no stitch no stitch is showing so i used hemming gum and i gave it a good press so this is the slit i repeated the same thing after weaving it i added hemming gum and gave it a good press and this is the lower part that is the hemline i did the same thing so i weaved it all the way so there are no stitch showing on the dress but if you don't have a hemming gum you can also top stitch on it so guys our dress is ready as you can see it's neatly finished i hope this tutorial was helpful please don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up comment and share thanks for watching and see you in my next video